Hey you guys, welcome back to another video of ours. So in today's video, we will be showing you how our iPhone controls our Yeedy mopping system. So this is a unique oscillating mopping system and has 3000 PA strong suction power to vacuum and mop simultaneously to scrub off dried on stains from wood, tile, laminate floors, and suck up dirt from both carpet and hard floor, which is perfect for our family and definitely meets our needs. I'm really excited to start using this. This will definitely be a big help for me and very convenient. And you don't have to pick up before you clean and use this, you guys. The 3D obstacle avoidance technology senses and dodges daily objects, shoes, pet bowls, kids, toys, socks, etc. We do have a dog now, so that would be really cool to see like it goes around her toys now, not just the kids' toys, her doggy bowls with her food and water and things like that, that, you know, a vacuum would have to go around and we have to clean around. But obviously we clean up under that like by hand often, but what I plan on doing with this is letting it run at night when everyone is in bed and the things that are left out, I don't have to worry about picking up every single night. Like if I'm extremely tired, I can just let it run and it'll go around everything because it senses there are certain things where they are so I think that's really cool you don't have to worry about it like sucking up shoestrings or anything like that like a lot of other ones actually do it's been a problem in the past so many shoes so many kids so many people in our house but I'm really excited if you guys are interested check out the links and codes in the description box below we will have them for you but let's get unboxing and we will show you guys how it works but I just wanted to throw out those points for you before I start unboxing the product and showing you how it works so you guys so this know. This is the brand. It is a Yeedy. The wrapping also says Yeedy on it. So let's get to unboxing the product. So when you first open the box, this is what you see. I'm going to take this out. Okay, so this is where the actual mopping back is. So I'm going to take it out and show you the contents in the box with the product. So this is what comes in the box, the limited warranty and the quick start guide. And then in here with the manual is the bottom mopping pad part that connects right to the vacuum. And it shows you right here how to do it. And I'm sure if you get stuck, there will be much more of an explanation inside of the guide because it is a quick start guide. And then over here is the actual mopping back. Over here is a spinny brush that will go on the bottom when we're ready. Over here is the cord, the charging cord that plugs right into the power adapter. And this will be the base where the mopping vacuum charges. So this is what the back of it looks like and that is where the cord, this part right here, will go into right there. And then this will go into the wall. Super simple, super easy. This is where the vac will go on so it can charge. It'll connect right here to those two little metal parts. So here's the actual mopping vac. And I love how this one is basically like super simple to use. Some of these that I have used in the past have just been way too complicated to the point where I didn't even use them. I just gave them away. But I love the fact that this one is so easy to start up and maintain. So this is what it looks like when you take it out of the cloth bag that it comes with. It was very well protected between the cloth and then the packaging. It's pretty thick and sturdy, so you can ensure that your product will not get damaged on the way to you. Here's the power off and on switch. There's the name brand. These will have to be peeled off when I'm ready to use it. Flip it upside down. This is what it looks like on the bottom. You can see all the sensors, the wheels. These two parts right here are the parts that go on to the two metal parts right here to charge. Only it will be turned like this and this will be turned upside down. You guys get it. That's the charging base. Super simple. I love it, you guys. I'm so happy that this isn't super complicated to the point where I get overwhelmed and confused and I don't even want to use it just like the other ones that I have had. Okay, so we're going to take this out of the box and self-explanatory once again. It'll go right here. There we go. 
love it, love it. I love how simple this is. I love it. I love it already, and I haven't even started it up yet. So now I'm going to look at the quick start guide right here and see what app I need to download for my iPhone to control it. It has a limited warranty, instruction manual. This is like I showed you guys before, the quick start guide. Let's find out what app we need to download. It has steps one through five right here. You assemble the docking station and it has a docking station placement. And then to install the edge brush, like I said, it was self-explanatory, super simple. I already did that part. And then you power on and charge the robot. So we will be charging that before we use it and show you guys how it works. But right here is what I wanted to know about connecting the iPhone to the robot. It says, before you start, make sure that your mobile phone is connected to your Wi-Fi network. The 2.4 GHZ band wireless signal is enabled on your router. The Wi-Fi indicator light on the robot is slowly flashing. And then you'll see right here, I will be using the App Store because I have an iPhone. If you have Android, you can get it on Google Play as well. This is the Wi-Fi indicator light and it just shows you when it's slowly flashing, rapidly flashing, or solid. It shows you right here how the connection is to the robot. Then it says if you have any problems during the Wi-Fi setup process, you can refer to the troubleshooting Wi-Fi connection section in this manual. So, like I said, a lot of it is self-explanatory, but if you have trouble you do have the instruction manual to go by as well as the quick start guide. So I am going to set this up right here on its charging dock, give it some charge before we connect it to the phone and show you guys how to use the product. This is all what we will show you guys how to do when we start using the product. So for now, that's all we need to know. And as we go on and show you guys how to use the product, we will go through all of these steps. And yeah, it seems pretty simple to me compared to all the other ones that we've used. Not many steps and pretty easy to use. And here's the troubleshooting. So yeah, we are going to connect it to its charging dock right now, give it some charge and look over these parts right here just so we know what we're doing and show you guys step by step what we are doing when we start. So we will see you guys in a little so bit. So I wanted to add in that in the quick start guide, it basically shows you everything that you see in the instruction manual, only it's a quick start guide, so it shows you much simpler and easier steps. But it does have a QR code, you guys, to download and install the app, which obviously makes things easier. So I would probably go with the quick start guide unless you are having trouble and need to know a little more and then you can go to the full instruction manual. But this is very convenient that they have this quick start guide to go with it and as well. also right here on the bottom, this is how you open this part so you can take this out and clean it because you guys know how that goes. Well, in our family, we have a lot of girls, so our hair gets everywhere. Now we have a dog, so now we have pet hair. It's that simple and easy to take this brush out right here so you can clean it and remove all the hair and anything that may be stuck in there. You just put it right back in like that. And then you just put this back on snaps right in just like that and that was super simple to open take it out clean it put it back in put the cover back on super easy so this is the top part I decided to show you guys this part real quick when you want the mopping setting on you replace this it's so super simple and easy with the mopping pad and this is the water tank so it just says fill up the reservoir for mopping Keep metal contacts dry. Remove reservoir before charging. Mopping plate is not removable. And then this is where you fill up the water for the mopping. And then you empty it out when you are finished. So that's where the water will be. You just replace it with this part. Make sure it clicks in like that. And then this is the mopping pad and water when you want to use that feature. And then right here when you open the top, this little brush and blade is to clean the spin brush roller that I just showed you guys underneath that will collect like the dust and the hair. The blade will be to like get the hair out, like 
you know, go like this so it cuts the hair so you don't have to pick at it with your fingers because that would take a long time. Hair can be rough and with a lot of girls in our house, definitely have a lot of hair on the floors. I don't know how, but it happens. Here's the Wi-Fi with the light above it. Another QR code to connect your iPhone to the mopping vacuum. You can see right there. QR codes are super convenient. I'm really glad that they have quite a few that you can scan to make things easier. This right here, so super simple and easy to remove, you guys. This is where the dust and debris will collect and you will empty it. You can see right here, you just take it off and empty it. And it shows you right here how you empty it, how the filter comes out, how you empty out the filter, and then how you clean it, and then just let it set out to dry. Very self-explanatory, like I said, again, Super simple and easy to use. I find this product very convenient. If you have trouble, they explain everything in the quick start guide and the instruction user manual. So now I'm going to charge it for a little bit and then I will be showing you guys how the product works exactly. And I will be downloading the app to my phone as well to prepare to use it. This, that's what that looks like. Going to unravel this cord so we can charge up the mopping vacuum like I showed you guys before this is where this part goes and there we go and it's ready to charge this will go into the wall you'll match up these two parts to these two parts. So it'll go a little something like this. And just like that. So I'm going to plug it into the wall, see if it lights up. So it lets us know it's charging. I would assume the power button would light up and let us know it's charging. Yep, I was right. See so you guys, it's so simple and easy to use. Please scan the QR code on the robot to download the app and get started. Okay. Starting charging. There you go, you guys. So if you're not sure what to do, once you put it on the charging station, it tells you what to do. That's amazing. It doesn't get simpler than this. So far, my experience with the Yeedy mopping vacuum robot has been amazing. I love it. So we are going to scan the QR code under here. My phone. Okay, so this is when we're starting up here. United States, English, it's already set for me. If you need to change it, you can. Of course, I agree. Send me notifications, sure. Okay, so now I'm going to register. Going to put in my email and create a password. Okay, so I just created a username and password. That's so funny, you can see the little cat playing with its toy and then the robot going around it. Okay, so we are going to add the robot. We'd like to access the camera, sure. This is on your local network, okay, we'll do that. So now we are going to press continue. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> and then if you're having trouble, it says right here, I see a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up the network here. So, like I said, Basically, it is self-explanatory, but if you do not know what you're doing, it will guide you step by step. Open the robot cover, switch on your robot, and wait until a startup sound is played. Okay, so it's already open, which we just did. So I'm gonna press I've switched on the robot. Next, short press the reset button for one second and then release, confirm to here, start to enter the network distribution mode. Press again if you didn't hear the sound. Okay. One second. Ready for network setup. Okay, ready for the network setup. I've heard the sound. Next, connect the robot to home Wi-Fi. Make sure the connected home Wi-Fi network is a 2.4 slash 5G mixed network. Okay, so there's the Yeedy right there. I'm going to click the Yeedy. Connected. Please okay. go back to the app to continue the setup. 
Okay, so it says it's connected. You guys can see right there it is connected. Now I will go back to the app to complete the setup. This was definitely the easiest robotic vacuum mop that I have ever worked with and I'm already in love with it. I love it. Generate network setup QR code button below. Align the QR code with the robot's camera in parallel with a height of 8 to 10 centimeters. Align the QR code with robot's camera in parallel. Oh, with the robot's camera. So that would be that right there, right? The QR code scan successfully setting up network. Then we will be ready to move on to the next step. I'm assuming this is the camera. Let's see. Scan successful. Connecting to the app. Yay! This is so easy. 10 out of 10 recommend you guys. Okay, so now they are pairing. So I basically haven't had to look at the quick start manual or the full instruction manual at all. I mean, I did a couple times for a couple things, but nothing big. So you can name your robot. I'm gonna keep it at ED Vac 2 Pro. I'm gonna press next. And it is now downloading. Yay! This was so easy. Hi, I'm Edie's first smart obstacle avoidance robot. That's perfect for our large family and now with a dog. So like I said, dog toys, dog food, dog water bowls, kids toys, all of our shoes. The kids come home from school, throw their shoes on the floor, their jacket on the floor, which they're learning you guys to put things back. But typically backpacks go flying, shoes go flying, jackets go flying. But basically this could be running at any time and you don't have to clean up before unless you want it to get like under those certain things. But like I said, if I don't want to clean before I go to bed at night, if I'm too tired, I can still let it run. It will avoid those areas and it'll still clean. So I don't have to worry about that, which is a big relief. But I usually do clean up at night. You can set do not disturb to avoid being disturbed at a certain time. During this period, the robot won't perform scheduled cleaning or continuous cleaning and will turn Turn off the speaker and light. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so it's just showing the app. So it's saying start now. We will start the vacuum. Enter smart cleaning. It's at 100% charged. The smart sensor is not even touching the kids' play kitchen. It's going right around it. We're just gonna let it do its thing. Right now it's just creating its surroundings. Did not pick up the kids' toy right there to see if it would avoid it, and it did. So while it's doing that, I'm gonna show you on the app some of the features. So there's map, you can pause it, you can recharge it, there's vacuum power, water flow level, cleaning schedule, robot voice level, volume, cleaning settings, so there's a lot of things that you can do on the app. The anti-drop sensor is covered with us. Please clean up. Please clean the anti-drop sensor. Please clean the anti-drop sensors. Okay, so it's telling you I have to clean the anti-drop sensor, so let me do that real quick. It says, solution, wipe the anti-drop sensor with dry tissue paper. I'm going to clean them. Okay, let's get it started. So it just said starting vacuuming, so it's back at it again. We have some cords over here from the ring light that I did not move to see if it would avoid it. And it did, and then we have the Christmas tree over here with the skirt and the little people nativity set. So far it's avoiding all areas that it should. Here is the sensor right here on the front that you guys can see. It's moving pretty quick. I'll give it that. Definitely getting the job done and getting it done fast. Avoiding the kids' toys. It's kind of going in like a back and forth motion, like it has a certain pattern that it's doing. So right now we are right here back to the app. It shows you it's been working for 28 minutes and how much area it's covered. And depending on how big of an area it's covering, you can move it around. So you can see it went from that smaller space just in like the family room. Now it's covered the family room, the kitchen, the dining room, and it's going toward the living room now. 
This is the base right here, the charging station, and this is where the vacuum currently is. And that's the route that it's done. That's everything it's covered so far in blue, and it's doing an amazing job. You can also adjust the vacuum power too and the water flow level, but I just kept it as it was, standard and medium. And then up here, I just kept it on auto as well. But if I wanna change it in the future, I know I have that option. So Isaac thought it would be fun that Santa Claus goes for a little ride, so Santa's riding on the little robot. <laughs> but I did wanna add that it does avoid the carpet. Like the mopping part is on the very back, so it completely avoids any carpeting that you may have. It'll go like that far right there, but it won't fully go on the carpet and vacuum as it was in vacuum mode. Okay, the cleaning is complete. She's gonna return back to the station. Let's get Santa Claus. Look how clean the floor is. Woo! Very clean. And this is hardwood, so we have hardwood floor, and here we have the laminate floor, and then in the foyer we have the tile. But over here in the guest bathroom, it's tile as well. So it worked great on everything. Isaac is loving the robot. What are we gonna name her, Isaac? Look, she's gonna find her way home, look. She's gonna go back home. Ready? Look, watch her. There she goes. Okay, so let's check the water situation out here. Okay, so whoa, look how dirty the floor was. Do you see that? Yeah, there is water in there. Do you see how dirty the floor was? Is it yucky? Yeah. So I would say it did a pretty good job. Very good job. So do you like the robot? Yeah. I do too. I definitely recommend this product, you guys. All the links and codes will be in the description box below if you guys are interested. Like I said, compared to all the other complicating ones, look, it even has a dog fur on it. A little piece of dog fur. It really cleaned. Compared to all the other ones I've had, they've been super complicated and hard to figure out. This one was super simple and easy and it did a very good job. Vacuuming, dusting, mopping, cleaning, you guys can see it did a very good job. And I barely had to even look at the user manual or the quick start guide, so I would say that this is definitely self-explanatory and like I said, one of the easiest ones that I have ever used and we have tried out quite a bit. So again, definitely recommend you guys and it did an amazing job. The floors are super clean. We really enjoyed this product, you guys. I think it works very well. I love every aspect of it. I love how I can control it right from my iPhone. And if you are interested, make sure you check out the links and codes in the description box below. Are you saying bye-bye? Oh, you say robot. Oh, yeah. Robot. If you guys are interested in this product, make sure you check out the links and codes. They will be in the description box below. As always, thank you all so much for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. And we hope to see you guys on our next video. Bye. Say bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.